We're out here day one, about to start doing our first shopping. Kim is just getting ready. I just finished up some work and the car's all ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Kim's work, pick up some boxes, and then, <laughs> something just broke, uh, and then uh, we're gonna go to the Walmart nearest to work, and then probably head back. Kim's gotta do some work, so I will probably go out on my own in a bit. All right, check up on you guys soon. The 2004 Jetta Proct Edition is a well-rounded vehicle for any human who is a consumer of vehicles. With five seats and a rather average trunk space, this ride will get you to a few places. Included with Dave's hat that he forgot here like four years ago, this ride is straight up ballin'. Let's see what kind of work it can get done. And then there's also a vegetable. There's a vegetable. Yeah, I grab one of those too. Is that open? Mm -hmm. oh, yep. You just want out of follow this. Sadly, the store was quite busy, so we went to check out. <laughs> Play music. Happy for you. So we're done with our first trip. What do you think so far, Kim? What are we at? We at $77.63. So we have $922.37 left in the shop. I don't think we have enough room in this car for today, but we'll go do another trip. Where's bushes? <laughs> well, those are expensive. <laughs> are we getting Katie? Yeah. Didn't say the, the, yes, it is. is it? Yeah. Should we get another box? That's up to you. <laughs> I don't think that's enough, Katie. Well, I want to make it a Remember, it's a Canadian right. food bank. Right. Dead luck to Katie. <laughs> Destroy the KD. Destroy the child. Can I screw myself over here? No, just throw it. Hang on, hang on. Throw my purse. Move your purse. Over. I'm gonna throw this on the bottom. Oh, that's kind of like in a weird box. Dented? No. Mystery can. Oh, what's in there? Giblets for the cats. <laughs> oh, what is that? What? That's just mushrooms. Just don't eat one giant can of mushrooms.
pork and molasses or with pork and tomato sauce? I think we can get like half and half. Yeah, we or even one full of each. Four more cans. I know. I'm trying to move it over a bit. Three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> These buggies are not I know. can it's friendly. Perfect. And then we'll just get some other small. Get some soup. Yeah. What do you think? We should get 16? Uh, I got four of the regular. These are part of the two, right? Yep. One of those Swiss cheese crackers. Just gonna get the original. Bad, right? No. Okay, because if they don't have to go in the fridge or uh, freezer, you're good. Well, we got a lot of soup in the car already. Yeah, we got the vegetable. Did we get chicken noodle? No. How many more cans do you need? Last two. Last two. Oh, well, one. Oh, okay. I can't count. Perfect. Okay, let's go check out. We're all good. We're all good for this one. Yeah. This is <laughs> Second break. trip. Next. <laughs> later today. Third trip. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, I was trying to get a recording of the funniest sweater I've ever seen. It was this crusty pickle Rixmas ugly sweater. What's up? This fellow in front of me was trying to make a decision if he wanted to purchase the holy entity, and alas, I couldn't capture its pure beauty. You have enough pasta? I think we have enough pasta. Which sweater would you pick? No. I'm not wearing that. Second trip. How much should we get? We got 137 items for $142. Everything's in the back. Oh, car! <laughs> Everything's all in the back, and we're just heading to get burrito, burrito break. break. And we will continue later tonight. Big old burrito break. <laughs> what? Hey! Who's that guy? A burrito break. Me and Kim were ready for our divine meal of beans and meat. Mine wrapped in a tortilla about the size of a small child. It had been a reward for our first round trip. In total, we got a large assortment of goods and ended the day with 211 items and only $220 spent. I want to take a second and talk about the year 2020. This year has been a nightmare for all of us and only began to get worse after we began shooting. As case numbers in Ontario began to rise, so did the restrictions on grocery stores and other retail locations. On top of the current rules and regulations, it became tough to record and capture video for our other trips. Even more, my phone and some of the footage was mostly unusable due to some transferring issues with my device. For the rest of the trips, I will briefly summarize and show the small footage that we had. Our second trip, we went to No Frills. Yes, the anime No Frills. Link for the full commercial in the description. We came here particularly because of the sale they had on ramen. In the end, we got a total of 172 items for $110. Our second trip that day, we returned to Walmart and made our biggest round yet, gathering a total of 243 items with $273 spent. 
Lastly, due to work crunch, I was unable to make her last trip, so Kim and her mom visited two stores and were able to pick up the rest, being 259 items for $403. In the end, we total a whopping 885 items with one grand and some change, closing off our final trip. Uh, yes, there's still stuff in the back of the truck. And that was it. We made our donation. A couple of months of hard work during a tough stretch and it paid off all for something so satisfying. If we ever do it again, maybe I'll ease up on the amount of mac and cheese. I wanted to say thank you to every single person who took part in our little adventure and all of those who tune in regularly to give me and my friends the support to keep us going to do these kind deeds. Have a happy and safe rest of your holidays and hopefully 2021 is a year where it all turns around. See you all around, and don't forget to check me out on other platforms, and subscribe if you haven't. Have a great one. Peace!